Uh, my name is Tom Hoffman, park ranger historian here at, at Sandy Hook. And um, I know you want to go bunkers. Uh, well, I got to ask, what, what's your interest? History. History. With the Boy Scouts? Yeah. No, no. And you said history? Yeah, I love history. Anybody else? What, I said cops. I heard you. World War II. World War II. This goes back way before World War II. We're going to discuss it. see it all the time. You see it all the time. Wonder what it is. That, that's probably what we hear the most. Uh, and when you uh, wander or bicycle around uh, Fort Hancock, you see these big concrete structures and you wonder what were they, right? Anybody want to venture a guess what they were? Gun emplacements. Gun emplacements. And why would an army have gun emplacements out here? Anybody want to yeah, which uh, we really don't see, right? Yeah, here we are and we're behind a very long gun battery. The Army used to call it nine gun battery. And uh, uh, we can't see the ocean, and we can't see the entrance right into New York Harbor. It's right over here, right off the tip of Sandy Hook. But that kind of tells you why the Army built such a long gun line or gun battery. And uh, they would mount in it nine big cannons because uh, big ships and big ships to this day, like oil tankers, Navy ships, modern day uh, container ships or cargo ships, the big ships have to stay in a deep water channel where the water is deep for their holes, which go way down into the water. So in the old days, the old channel to come into New York Harbor was the old Sandy Hook Channel, which is still used. But later on, they made a uh, another uh, longer and wider uh, ship channel called the Ambrose Channel, out in the middle of the harbor entrance. But either or channel could be covered by the nine big cannons right here. So imagine if America goes to war with some country, and we have. Take the Spanish-American War. Anybody here ever hear the Spanish-American War? Yeah. 1898, Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders charging up San Juan Hill and all that. But that was down in Cuba. But they want to capture Cuba uh, uh, for one reason, because some of the Spanish battle fleet was down in a harbor down there. And back in the summer of 1898, when they fought that war, the American newspapers were saying, what about the Spanish army down there in Cuba? And they have some of their fleet there. They've got battle cruisers. They've got some destroyers. What if they come up the East Coast and attack cities like New York? The newspapers were saying, is the US Army ready to defend against those enemy ships? Well, of course they were. They had already started building concrete gun batteries here, starting with the early 1890s. And uh, although they only built, uh, they were only going to plan to build a three-gun battery right over here, kind of the middle of the nine-gun battery. Uh, thanks to the Spanish-American War, Congress gave the Army even more money to build even more gun batteries around the United States. So what was intended to be a three-gun battery grew to be a nine-gun battery, and it covers the Sandy Hook Channel. And if the Spanish warships had made it up this far, which they didn't, but they would have to come in following one after the other because the channel is narrow. It's long, but narrow, and only one ship could fit into it coming in with another one and another one and another one and so on behind it. If they want to attack, come into the harbor, and then bear right across the harbor to go to the narrows. Do you know what the Narrows are? Have you ever heard of the, the Narrows? Yeah. Where, where the Barazano Narrows Bridge is? It's a body of water. They call it the Narrows, but it's, it's almost a mile wide. But that is between Staten Island and over there in Brooklyn. So so you want, you want to stop the enemy ships from getting over there, which right where we're standing, the Narrows is 10 miles away. And here we are, right by the 
Atlantic Ocean, and that's where the enemy ships are going to come from. Let's fast forward. What happens in 1914, 1918? World War I. And again, the fear is the German high seas fleet might try to attack the east coast of the United States. Again, uh, at that time, though, they'd have two channels they could use, Sandy Hook, which brings them off of close to us, which is right off the beaches here, but further out, just a few miles out, in the middle of the entrance to New York Harbor is Ambrose Channel. Either channel could be covered by these big guns. So they would have to run by not only the nine-gun battery, but there's other smaller gun batteries here as well that cover the tip of the hook in New York Harbor. And then there were other concrete batteries over down over here. Have you visited any today? Because we had some of them open today for tours. There's others down here, including a, a 16 mortar battery. And the mortars fired projectiles that were 12 inches in diameter, could be as high as my shoulder, which is about four feet high and they, each shell weighed half a ton. And they had 16 of them there in World War I. So with other gun batteries, and especially the nine gun battery, fronting right here in front of these two major ship channels, we've got it covered, literally. And the Army will keep using this right into World War II, by which time, what do we fear? Do we fear enemy ships or something else? Then they're starting to use submarines more and more in World War II. Air but Air for airplanes, air forces. And they're afraid that they might fly over. You look down at these big concrete pits, each pit held a big cannon, and from an airplane, you know where the guns are, where they're hiding. And uh, in the 1890s, when they start building all of this, there's no airplanes yet. So ships would look over at Sandy Hook and they wouldn't see nine gun battery because what does the army pile up in front of this big long concrete gun? What do they do? Sand, make, yeah, sand. Make it look like the sand dunes of Sandy Hook. To this day, if you walk out here at North Beach and look back, you don't see nine gun battery. You go, oh, look at all of those, all, those dunes over there. And, and look at all that, those the three leaf plants on the dunes. You know what the three leaf plants are talking about? Royce and I goes all over Sandy Hook. So you always have to beware where you're walking on Sandy Hook because uh, it's a, a natural plant that just enjoys growing in the sandy soil that is Sandy Hook. So it's everywhere. But uh, the Army was letting that grow up because it's a natural plant and it helped camouflage their gun batteries along with dune grass. So the big fear, and it starts with World War One, because they start using airplanes become warplanes, then with World War II we definitely are afraid of dive bombers, high altitude bombers that could drop a lot of bombs on you. And from the air, you can see where all our gun batteries are hiding. So you'll find that during World War II, around the United States, not only here but around the United States, the Army starts scrapping the gun batteries. And the guns here were called disappearing guns. We're going to find out the reason why. But uh, here they literally disappear in 1944 when the Army scraps the guns because wh what are the gun barrels and their big carriages that mount the gun? What are they made of? What kind of metal? Steel. Iron and steel. Both, they both had iron and steel. And in World War II, don't, don't they need more ships? Don't they need more tanks? And you name it, any, anything you're going to fight a war with, they need steel and iron. So er, around the United States, a lot of the older guns and their carriages were scrapped by the U.S. Army, usually replaced with the 90 millimeter gun, which could fire at airplanes, and I hear one overhead, or you could point it down and fire at ships and sink ships with a 90 millimeter gun. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going we're to go into a section of it. This is the north end of the nine gun battery. And uh, so why don't we start walking down over here and uh, we'll, we'll get close up to the gun battery. And um, I've made some illustrations. 
and I don't think I have enough for everyone, but you could share, okay? Let's go. Any questions so far? What's the question? Um, uh, me 